Hi guys. So, um, folks have been asking me to weigh in and give some kind of opinion or guidance on uh, what I think we ought to do about the DAO situation. And I've had a really hard think about this, and I've come to the conclusion that I, as of now, I can't figure whether the soft fork or the hard fork or some as yet unpresented option is the way to go. Um, but I wanted to try and do a little bit of background analysis on how we got here and what went wrong. Um, generally speaking, and I'm putting my kind of disaster relief hat on here, when you have some kind of critical incident, several things go wrong one after the other before you get into the position where there's a real problem. Uh, and I think that this is clearly true with the DAO. So I wanted to enumerate some of the things that have gone wrong uh, and think about what could have been done at each stage. Sorry, a little bit dry here. So um, the first thing is that we put an enormous amount of faith in the DAO team, um, partly because of, of Stefan Tuol's track record as director of communications for Ethereum. And one of the things that possibly we didn't take sufficient account of is that the DAO is a fundamentally different proposition to being director of communications at Ethereum. There were a whole bunch of new challenges on, on in this situation, and it's fairly clear that one way or another, the DAO team has not fully met the challenges that were put on it. So the first thing is, we may have seen an extension of reputational capital that went from one field to an essentially unrelated field in a way that was not actually backed up by eventual team performance. And I think that that's quite important you know, to understand that we put an enormous amount of faith in this enterprise, largely because Stefan had been very good at a previous post, which was not entirely related. So this is our first point. Uh, there was an area there where I think we collectively made an error, and collective errors are a big part of how we got into this, because what we have is an enormous failure of a collective action scenario. We all did the DAO together, and we have all created this mess, uh, even the bystanders. So, second thing that happens is uh, the DAO um, grows to $150 million, $160 million. And I think we all knew, as we watched this happening, that this was an Emperor's Clothes scenario. There was no way that that smart contract had undergone an appropriate amount of scrutiny for something that was a container for $160 million. Imagine the kind of due diligence that goes on between investors before you move $160 mil into something. You know, it was not uh, in any way, shape or form an automatable risk. You know, we didn't have any way of knowing whether that smart contract was accurate other than humans inspecting it. And we definitely hadn't done an appropriate amount of due diligence on it. It grew and it grew and it grew and it grew. But at no point did somebody throw their hands in there and say, look, this contract has not gone through enough diligence for this level of inspection. You know, it could have been anybody who had seniority and, you know, reputational capital in the field. It did not have to be the makers of the DAO. It did not have to be the foundation. It didn't have to be Vitalik. There must be 30 or 50 people that could have thrown their hands in the air and said, stop, this is madness. And frankly, none of us did. I didn't do it. I thought it, but I did not act. And everybody that knew and didn't act is in some way responsible for this mess. We did not wind up here uh, because, you know, almost everybody did the right thing. We wound up here because almost everybody did nothing or the wrong thing or both. And it's really important as we do the analysis of how to move forward to understand the nature of our collective failures and the sort of burden of responsibility we share in the process that has led us into this perilous uh, trap. So the third thing is the nature of the legal constructs around the DAO. Uh, I am not a lawyer. I am just going to say go and talk to people with real legal experience and ask them exactly how a court of law is going to look at the DAO in various jurisdictions. What I've heard from two or three sources that are knowledgeable about English law is that the DAO is basically going to provide very, very, very limited legal protection for people and an enormous amount of legal exposure. So go and talk to people who are knowledgeable about these things, do the research. Uh, you specifically want to think about things like arbitration and you want to think about things like choice of law and you want to think about things uh, like the nature of limited liability corporations and what you are if you are not limited liability. So all of that stuff, uh, again, those documents were posted really early. They went under review. They did not go under $160 million worth of review. And I think that there was more screaming about that than there was about the technical side, but by no means enough screaming. So that set of errors, one after another, left us with an enormously perilous situation. And now we have to go from individual res uh, collective responsibility, which I think is valid up to that point, to individual responsibility, which is, if you invested in the DAO, 
after it was worth five or ten million, you had to know that you were building out on a structure that was not intended to bear your weight. And this is really bad news, right? I mean, we've been in a position where there has been a relatively utopian situation where wealth has been created in these new fields because people thought that what we were doing was incredibly useful and had a very bright future. The amount of wealth that was generated by Bitcoin, the amount of wealth that was generated in Ethereum, these things were fundamental votes of faith in the future. And, you know, there has been a very good track record of technical integrity in the platform code for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Generally speaking, those platforms have been up to the challenges that were placed on them. Um, the DAO, on the other hand, was not a platform. It had not gone through nearly the same weight of review that the platforms had. It was a smaller team. It had gone through less review. Uh, I'm not even sure if the code was posted online in time for there to be thorough review, reviews before it was stood up. I don't remember. Um, but once you started investing in this stuff, after it got to a point where it was beyond the sort of due diligence horizon that had been done on the code and on the legalese, you had to be aware that you were moving into danger. So in this position, what I see is, as so often happens with major accidents, you have lots and lots and lots of people that could, if they had followed their own procedures, if they'd followed their own best advice, done something to halt the damage before the problem started. And now we're in a position where this combination of uh, collective failure to act and individual action in times when the risks were frankly quite high and visibly quite high have left us with this enormous uh, pool of bad opportunity uh, which the attacker on the DAO or the attackers as it is now have taken you know massive ruthless advantage of. So that's where I'm going to wrap this up tonight. Uh, I think I'm going to do a few more of these in the next couple of days just trying to you know communicate how I'm looking at the issue and how I'm framing it. Um, I'm certainly not in a position where I've recommended solutions yet, but first clarity about the problem, then recommendations on the solution. So uh, that's my two cents worth. I know people have been asking for it. Um, I should stress that I am not speaking in my role as a consensus employee at this point. I no longer represent the foundation. I haven't been a foundation rep in about six months, as you know. Uh, this is really just me responding to people that asked me to make some comment on the situation. I think there'll be some official communique from consensus in the next few days possibly tonight um and um yeah good luck to everybody involved in this or standing around it and uh, let us continue to show common sense and good judgment as we move forward from here and try and get to a successful resolution thank you and good night